All right, today we're going to uh, change the oil on my Honda Civic. Uh, this is gonna pertain to the 2006 through 2011 Honda Civics, whether it's a DX, LX, VP, EX. The only difference would be if it was a hybrid or the SI model, but this is all the regular model Civics. Uh, only tool that we're gonna need is actually just a ratchet, a 17 millimeter for the uh, drain bolt underneath. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get, um, it calls for 3.9 quarts, so actually 4 quarts. Um, it's cheaper just to buy a 5 quart container. I always use full synthetic in my cars, and you also want to use 5W20 motor oil. Um, do not put any other oil in these newer vehicles like this. Um, this is what they're designed to run on, and nothing different. Um, just, just do as I say. Um, I'll put a link to some major uh, brands of oil uh, below on Amazon. Also, you're going to want a Honda filter, and there's a little crush ring that you're going to place on the drain bolt. Same thing. I buy these off of Amazon. I think I buy them like in a pack of like six from a Honda dealership. Um, that way you get a discount on these. Um, but the oil filter works on every Honda out there, whether it's a Pilot, whether it's a car, whether it's a, you know the Ridgeline, the truck. Um, that's why I just buy multiple of these. I have, I have different Honda vehicles. Um, other than that, I'm just going to use a floor jack. You could actually use the jack that comes with your car if you want, just the one that's in the trunk. Um, oh, and one other thing. To make it easier, I'm going to use one of these oil catch pans. To make it easier, I'm going to use one of these oil catch pans. You don't have to. Um, you could actually just funnel it back into an empty container. Um, but I just choose to use that and make it a little bit easier for me. First off, you want to let the car um, run for probably one to two minutes. That just warms the oil up. I did that when I, my car was parked in the driveway. I pulled it in. Um, that way the oil is you know, warm and moving around. Next, you obviously open your hood. Use a little prop, prop your hood open. I take off my oil cap, just double check, make sure nothing looks weird. You don't want any milky substance, anything weird like that. I'm just gonna set that up here. The reason I have this open is when you remove the drain bolt below, it allows for the oil to come out faster, a little bit quicker that way. Um, so now I'm just going to jack the car up. I'm gonna slide my pan underneath to catch oil and there's a 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter drain bolt that I'm going to loosen. All right, so when you get underneath your vehicle, you're going to actually see for where the drain bolt is underneath the motor. It is labeled engine oil, and it's pointing back to this bolt right here, which makes it very simple. And then this is going to be your oil filter. You'll be able to grab this and un undo that. And at this point, I'm going to grab my 17 millimeter. And get ready to loosen it. But at the same time, you want to get your pan underneath like so. And we're just going to remove this bolt. All right, I went ahead and started to loosen this bolt. And from here, I'm just gonna use my hand with the uh, pan underneath it. And you just wanna let that drain out. All right, while the oil is draining, I went ahead and I grabbed the oil filter and I loosened that. I moved the drain pan underneath the oil filter and the drain bolt. So now they're both draining out. What you want to do is you want to take your drain bolt right now. And there's a washer. It's called a crush washer. It's a one-time use. So you want to remove the old crush washer. Then on the new one when you buy it, it comes with the oil filter, comes with a new crush washer. You're just going to put the new crush washer on. That way when you tighten it back down, 
it seals correctly. It's not going to leak any oil or anything like that. Okay, get rid of the old brush washer in the garbage. <clears throat> And I'm going to go ahead and crawl back underneath the vehicle and install my new oil filter. They come pre-lubricated from Honda. If you just feel them, you can feel that they're not dry or anything like that. All right. Um, underneath, I, I do have an extra tool that I didn't mention. You don't have to have this, but I'll put a link to it below. It's just nice. It's an oil filter wrench. Um, you just use your socket here. And you're able to tighten it down, loosen up the oil filter with that. Um, it's just something I have that you don't have to have, but it does come handy um, for any Honda vehicle. All right, um, so the drain bolt uh, does call for 29 foot-pounds of torque. I usually do it by hand, but if you're the person that likes to use a torque wrench, make it exactly correct. It's 29 foot-pounds. Um, everything below the car is all, you know, the filter's tight, the uh, drain bolt's tight. You always just want to double-check that. I do use a little funnel. You don't have to. Just my preference. Put a funnel over here. Go ahead and start putting oil in. Uh, like I said, it does call for 3.9 quarts. This is five quarts. So roughly when it's full, I should have one quart left in this jug. And start putting oil back in. It's important to periodically check your oil level. Um, just because I do, um, I probably check mine once a month just to make sure. Okay, I got right exactly one quart of oil left here. At this point, you're going to want to jump in your car. Whoops, I'm sorry. Take the funnel off. Let's put the uh, cap back on real quick. Then you want to start your car for roughly 10 seconds. Let the oil pressure come up. Make sure the oil level is correct. All right, now <clears throat> you just want to grab a uh, towel of some sort to check your oil level. These aren't the easiest cars to check, but first you want to pull it out and clean off your dipstick. I could use a little bit more. I like to use it on a, on a paper towel like this. Then when you move it away, you can see the paper towel. So I'm at just a hair above the low mark. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I'll double check it just to make sure, but I know from the last reading that I'm pretty sure it's going to look good this time. And there you go. 
and you put it on a paper towel, you move it away, it's right at the full mark. So, do it yourself. Oil change at home roughly costs less than 30, uh, roughly 30 bucks, whatever, depending on what oil you go with. Um, like I said, I'll have a link to the oil filters. I buy them in bulk just because, well, you know you have to change your oil quite often. Just depends on how much you drive. I drive quite a bit. And my motto is an oil change is a lot cheaper than having to replace an engine. Hope you guys uh, like this video. Oh, a couple other things. I, uh, I always check my washer fluid at this point. I just look over the power steering fluid. I look over the uh, brake fluid, make sure all those levels are full. I know my coolant's full. I always check that on a regular basis. But uh, just simple things you always want to check. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. We're able to follow along. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.